Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to sculpt a flower crown using molds. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I bought these molds, you can actually just search it on Etsy or eBay and find your own, because you don't have to use these specific ones. Also know that you can use pretty much any clay for this as long as it's compatible with the mold, so just check that before you buy it. Um, I'm just going to show you because everyone's been asking me, it's really straightforward and really easy if you have good molds for it. And I hope you enjoy, hope you get answers to your questions. First off, when you start planning your flower crown custom, you could think about what sort of flowers would match your, your custom well. Um, I have lots of different molds, you can see here, it's just a normal one. Um, here's a tiny little one for sakura flowers, here's a rose one. Um, but today I'm actually going to be using this sunflower mold that I got recently. I haven't used it on a single custom yet. I might do this one and maybe lilies. We'll see how they turn out. Also might complement that with some small sakura flowers. It, it looks really nice if you combine several of them. So I'm just gonna go with the flow and see what happens. So when you start sculpting a flower crown, what you want to do is you want to start from the edges and work towards the middle. That way it looks like the middle flower is on top of all the other ones. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And you want to do the same thing at the back as well if you want the flower crown to extend to the back. So just start on the sides and then work towards the middle. You also might want to start with bigger flowers on the sides because um, it just looks more proportionate that way and it looks nicer, I think. As always, I'm using Knedatite for mine. You can use whatever clay you want to, as I already said. Um, if you're using something that's oven dry, you might want to put the mold into the oven, actually. Um, I'm not sure how those work. These are air, air dry ones, so you want to make sure that you take out the, the flour out of the mold before it settles. Right. If you use Knedatite like I do, you're gonna want to start off with just mixing it together, and that's boring, so I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, once you've got your mixed knetatite or whatever clay you use, um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the mold is moist. So just use some water, put it in there so that it doesn't stick to it completely. And then you just take a bit of mold like this, just put it in there. Very, very easy, very straightforward. Um, make sure that the that the clay doesn't overlap the mold too much or the shape because otherwise it's going to look a bit... It's not gonna have as many nice details and then to get it out of the mold I just use a simple tool like this you just try to take it out carefully and here we go you have a really really nice little sunflower and then um, if you're not using knetatite knetatite sticks by itself really well onto the figure so you don't have to use any additional glue um, if you don't use this, you might want to use a little bit of super glue once it's dried and then just attach it like this. There we go. Um, actually, now I'm noticing that this flower is really big. After going back and forth and thinking about it a lot and not being sure which flower mold I'm going to use for it, uh, I've now decided to use this lily flower mold. Um, We'll see what happens. I might change my mind again, but let's go with this one for now. So as you can see, the flower crown is done now. It has tons of detail, which are gonna be really nice when I paint them. Um, right now it just looks like a whole mess of green things, but I promise you it's gonna look really great once it's painted. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned something 
you know, as always, don't copy someone else. Just be creative and do your own thing. Um, and I hope that you find inspiration to make your own flower crowns. Bye! Okay, as an added bonus, I'm just going to show you how you can make your own roses without using a mold. So, you take a little piece of whatever clay you're using, you just roll it out into a roll like this. And try to make so that one of one end of it is a little bit thinner than the other end. So it looks something like something like this. And remember to use water if you're using the same stuff that I use. You also want to probably flatten it out a little bit like this. Um, what you want to do after that is you want to take a tool. For example, something like this, and you just go on and do these little indents into it, like this. If they're not perfect, don't worry, you can always refine them later. Just do something like that. And then you start from the thin end, or the smaller end, and you just start rolling it like this. Oops. <laughs> you just roll it carefully to a nice little shape. So when it's done you have something like this. <clears throat> now you're gonna wanna just refine it a little bit, give it a little bit more shape. So just take the tool again and just push these in a little bit more, give the petals a little bit more definition. I'm sorry that my hands are shaking again, it's because I'm sitting in a really weird position. <laughs> so. Ignore it. Right. And when you're done, you have something that at least looks a little bit like a rose. <laughs> it's not as nice as the ones from, from the mold, obviously, but I think it looks fairly decent. So, hope that helped you, and hope you can make your own roses from now on.